A South Florida radio station penthouse is filled with loyal listeners, fans, friends, and family. And just in case you're wondering, it's the retirement party of who else? A DJ who's always made his listeners feel he was talking directly to them. Thank you, darling. I love you too. And he's the true definition of a late night king. A South Florida family plans a celebration in loving memory and honor of their father, who was a quartet legend in the gospel quartet industry from all over the world. Not only love their father, they want to participate in this event as well. Were you talking about a true legend? He was a true legend. Their mother, who is very shy, doesn't say too much, but find out what made her say this. I am so proud of my children. And I'm Lady D, and these days it seems like everybody's in the music industry, but this artist is in it with a purpose, and she's in her own lane. Find out why she once put her career on hold for the country. Wow, but do not attempt to adjust your radio. The word around South Florida is actually true. Freddie Cruz has officially retired from Hot 105, but the quiet storm is still around. I'm gonna tell you all about who's hosting it for now. Plus, Freddie's retirement party was the who's who of South Florida. Old colleagues, current colleagues, celebrity comedians who came off their world tour to pay homage to a South Florida icon. And they even told what Freddie contributed to their career. And to be able to be that consistent for 34 years. Plus, the very first song that Freddie played in January 10th, 1985, turned out to be the very last song that Freddie played January 10th. 2019 and there wasn't a dry eye in the building. Good morning South Florida, Frank Cornelius Jr. here in the all new Frank Cornelius Jr. Show Studios. Now those stories and so much more is coming up on the show that you made. Your number one source for urban news in South Florida. I will say Cornelius, Frankie Cornelius in the house. <laughs> Thank you Freddie and it starts right now. From the Frank Cornelius Jr. Show Studios in South Florida. You, you have more places than the feds and the IRS. I'm the artist that wrote the Miami Heat song, seen in all the media, entitled Tell Mr. Stern to Get the Rings Ready. I'm South Florida Zone, singer, songwriter, producer, on-air talent, sound engineer, son of legendary family, husband, father, friend, and now the host of this show. And I don't say my name. I'm too busy letting everybody else say theirs. Hi, my name is CeeLo Green. That love been rock from the legendary Naughty by Nature. This corrupt young guy. This is Todd Tucker. We go love. Dante Moore. This is Michelle A. And you're watching the Frank Cornelius. Frank Cornelius. Frank Cornelius. Don Cornelius. Come on, son. It was a joke. My homeboy, the Frank Cornelius. Frank Cornelius Jr. Show. Frank Cornelius Jr. He wasn't no soldier, ain't he? Huh? Hey, whatever. This is the all-new Frank Cornelius Jr. Show. And it's heavy. Heavy. And we gon' do it like the camera's on, baby Cause I need you to spend the night Let go to my house You can come to my crib, baby So we can la da 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 la da 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 Good morning, Frank Renegas Jr. here in the all-new Frank Renegas Jr. Show Studios Bringing you the latest in entertainment, music, and community news Marriage vows Now let's be honest, some doesn't take it as serious as they should and others are extremely serious about their marriage vows. One recording artist takes her marriage vows so serious that she took a break from pursuing her music career because she didn't want to be a distraction to her husband while he fights to protect her, their family, and the country. Our very own Lady D is in the control room with this story. Now, D, you promised no tear jerkers. Yeah, Frank, I know, but this story you're gonna love. Good morning, South Florida. This is Lady D. These days, it seems like everybody's in the music business and they all sound good. But this song gave the music business a whole new meaning and a whole new respect for the United States Armed Forces. What a brief, what a brief, what a brief romance. I could have loved you right if I had a chance. Daniqua Abel has been singing for a long time. I've been singing since I was four years old. She's a name that, let's just say, everyone doesn't know. But it's all me. Yet. But where did she get this talent and inspiration to sing? My mom, she used to always dance around the house and sing. And when she was cleaning, she likes to sing. So Her heartbreak song may sound like a bad thing. 
but it's extremely colorful. It describes everything that I'm feeling. It tells my story. It really truly does give you me. And with these things, her support system is just as powerful. Her husband, John Abel, when Daniqua's career was taking off, John was at the peak of his military career. I put my music career on hold because I didn't want to disrupt my husband's career. We are a military family to the core, and our country means a lot to us. Until John retired this year. So the question is, where do the concepts for these songs come from? A lot of times I dream about it. I'll wake up and be like writing stuff down. I'll be like, man, I need to do this in the video, or maybe I should take this part Her out. music is like therapy, but where did it come from? Very personable experiences, um, things that I've been through, things that people around me that I love or I hold near and dear to me. That's what I call teamwork, supporting your husband and your country all at the same time. Good luck, Daniqua. Wow, what a feel-good story. I wish you the best, Daniqua. God bless you. Now, if you have a feel-good story, log on to the website that's on your screen right now. This is Lady D for the all-new Frank Cornelius Jr. Show. Gene Cross was a loved man, a very humble man, someone who was loved in the quartet industry. But it doesn't matter how many accolades you put behind Gene Cross's name. What meant more to him was being a father and a husband. And what he wanted more than anything was to see his children come together and sing with him. Well, he got that wish last year and his children, they plan on keeping his legacy going, even if it means calling up some of his quartet buddies. You know, Dad, as I look back over my life and I see where God has brought me from, it truly lets me know that he cares. Eugene, Andre, Maurice, Shawnee, Tyrone, and Angela. Doesn't matter what name you call, they're all a part of the Cross family. My mom had, you know, five kids and we were all in it together. They have been singing since they were young. It was a gift from their father, Gene Cross. Dad's dream was for us to come together. Today they are at WEXY for their second anniversary celebration. But this is the first year without their father who passed away last February. He only left because he knew that we could handle it. If I'm honest, this was, this was a bittersweet celebration for me. I miss my father. And, and like you said, I want to make that clear. It's not against anyone who still has their father. It's just uh, the impact that my father had on my life. Now, Gene Cross wasn't just a legend in South Florida. He was a man that was loved all over the world by some of the very big names in the quartet industry. Well, you talking about a true legend? He was a true legend, humble guy, man. I mean, awesome, awesome man. Yeah, that's right. But what meant more to him was being able to see his family all sing together. So last year, about this time, he planned a celebration himself. You know, last year, you know, my daddy was, it was me and him. We was going to the, we was right. going out and getting this done and getting that done. I drive him here, he'll be on the on the walker and he'll get out. I said, dad, you got it? Yeah, I got it. And we going on, come on, let's get, this is what I want. He put it all together. Although he didn't make the, the concert, but he put what, what was there last year, he put it together really? from the groups. Unfortunately, Gene passed away, but that cannot and will not stop his children from continuing his legacy. Spencer Taylor and the Highway QCs. We have the Everettes. We have the Supreme Angels. And not only that, but we've we've taken it and we sort of added a new little wave of flavor to it because we have uh, Jalissa Faith. So they called in some of the big names. Now their mother Cross is one of their biggest supporters. She's not a singer, but her support for her children is great. She would say that she's she's happy yeah dad is not here but to see us mature to the level that we have to where we can still go on it puts a smile on her face this celebration will take place at redeeming word in fort lauderdale florida you want to get your tickets for this event because what they should expect to see is something that they never really experienced before because today you normally have what they call a quartet concert you have a choir concert, you even have what they call a contemporary concert. You really don't see a lot of together. So what we're doing, we're taking what dad left us, 
to another level. And for some strange reason, I think their father is looking down very proud that his children has kept his legacy alive. I am so proud of my children. Absolutely, Mama Cross. And if no one ever told you, you did a great job raising your children. Congratulations. Now, if you would like to know more about the second annual celebration to honor Jane Cross, log on to our website that's on your screen right now. And there's a link to their page where you can purchase tickets or find out more information about it. Now, I got to say this. While we were at WEXY, their phones kept ringing for people wanting tickets. So make sure you get your tickets early. Make sure you get your tickets early because I promise you it will be standing room only. Well, it, it's an accomplishment. The amazing thing about Freddie is he did the same shift at the same radio station for 34 years. Home of the quiet store. His radio has always been super strong and a leader in the market. Freddie Cruz is not just an iconic on-air personality in South Florida. It turns out that long before the internet, Freddie Cruz was iconic to the music industry around the world. Now recently he had a retirement party in the penthouse of the Cox Media Building. And according to the turnout in South Florida and everywhere else, it proves that Freddie Cruz is officially iconic, period. How you doing, love? I'm Freddie Cruz. Hope you had a wonderful day today. The same words and same voice we've heard over 30 years, and it has affected and helped many in different ways. His voice is unique, and he took it, he made the best of it. I mean, nobody could pull that off but Freddie. Nobody in L.A., New York, or Chicago could pull that stuff off but Freddie. Freddie Cruz's retirement party was like the Grammys of South Florida to the radio industry. Ratings go up and down, but Freddie was uh, constant. A number one. Right. And most of us look forward to this kind of retirement. Good, and it gives me hope, because I'm hoping I can work in the same station on Hot 105 for 30 years, you know, and do the same thing. But over 30 years of the same shift, what would he do now? Finally, he'll know what happens in the world between 7 and 10. Because right now, he don't know what happens in the world between 7 and 10. The world could end between 7 and 10, and he thinks it's the Osley Brothers on. Even included the voice of WSVN Channel 7's traffic reporter. Every morning, Stephen J. Gray. I mean, the man's been doing this forever. So he, uh, you know, enjoy yourself, enjoy your retirement. Life is short, man. So you, you really got to, you know, have fun, have, have good times with family. And uh, the music, I, I, you know, how can you go wrong with all the great music he's playing? And if it goes on in South Florida, it never gets past Hot Talk's Jill Tracy. You know, when everybody would say his name, they'd say, I am Freddie Cruz. <laughs> you know, you couldn't just say, it's Freddie Cruz. No. And so that really influenced me creating Jill Tracy. Everyone has attempted to imitate Freddie Cruz. Some even used the imitation to get girls. Actually, the words that, that came to me were from Freddie Cruz. I mean, he would say, you know, I, like I didn't know where to begin to, to approach, you know, a young lady in school. That was, you know, he would say, you know, hello, beautiful lady. Uh, you're so beautiful, and I want to wish you, I would just basically, you know, wish you the most amazing day. And, and it worked. <laughs> my first girlfriend. Freddie got my first girlfriend. Now, uh, this retirement means much to anybody. It means a lot to his son, Freddie the second. Thank you for your support because, again, without the community, without those loyal listeners, again, there is no question. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Because without them, we couldn't have been the great radio station that we are. I'm going to say goodbye because I don't like goodbye, so I'm going to say good night, love. I'm Freddie Cruz. Well, that music normally means that our time is up here at the all-new Frank Renegas Jr. Show, but as always, if you see something, we want to see it too. So log on to our website if you have a story or a show idea, and we'll send our cameras out. Thank you so much, D, for sitting in with me today, and you never know, D may sit in permanently, huh? <laughs> I'm Frank Renegas Jr., and as always, choose love over hate, and you have a better way of handling things. Well, until the next show, I'm gonna see you. Love you.